Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. This is going to be for Aries for the second half of your October from the 15th to the 31st or from the 16th to the 31st. Um, we're going to take a look and see what your over energies are, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know for the rest of October. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links to those are in the description box below. All right, energy check-in for Aries. Tell me about Aries here. Energy check-in for Aries. Overall energies for Aries for October 2023 for the second half of their October from the 16th to the 31st. For Aries. All right, we get the string card in Six of Cups. Okay. Feels like during this time, you guys have some, you guys are having some sort of nostalgia here. This is interesting. I, I do feel like some of you guys are definitely doing some sort of like inner child work here, that wounded inner child. And I feel like you guys are finding love and compassion for this inner child here. You guys are definitely connecting with that at this time here, very strongly. Um, we have the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords. You know, I feel like it's really interesting. This is really coming up and this is like really, this is like hitting like a really, really, really deep place for you because I feel like as a child, I do feel like you were, you were shuffled around a lot. Yeah, like I feel like you didn't really have a consistent home. It, it could be a situation that, you know, maybe your family moved a lot. Or it could have been a situation that, you know, uh, your family might have abandoned you and you might have been, been in the foster care system until you were placed in the permanent home. But this is about like home life. This is about safety here. And I feel like, feel like there was a lack of that. And I feel like this is like, this is like something triggered this. Uh, you know, I... It's so interesting. Maybe maybe what's going on in the news, what's going on in the war might have triggered this or something like that. But whatever this is, this is hitting like a really deep place because there's a sense of like not belonging. There's a sense of not having safety here, okay? There's a sense of not having safety. So I feel like whatever this is, this is, like I said, this is hitting me pretty hard. Yeah, this is hitting you pretty hard. It's been in your, your emotional heart space a lot um, recently, or it will continue uh, moving moving forward. Uh, it seems like whatever this trigger was led you to maybe face something that you might have been pushing away for a while. Um, you know, Aries, I feel like there's like acknowledgement surrounding your history here. Like, I feel like there's no denying it, but I feel like you haven't really fallen into that really deep place, that deep, dark place, that painful place that you went through here. Um, so let's see. Um, you know, part of the healing is about really embracing the, the trauma, you know, the, the, the grief, the hurt here. Okay. Um, so what we have here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Tower here, I feel like you're in the process of sort of like rebuilding yourself, repairing yourself here, okay? But I feel like, you know, it's important to know when you acknowledge this, when this is like really deep within your physiology, your body will start repairing this pain, this hurt, this trauma. You know, once, once there's acknowledgement surrounding it, you know, uh, there's no denying, there's no like lying to yourself and stuff like that, which I feel like you're doing here. But, you know, for some of you guys that are not doing this, maybe this is what needs to come into your awareness right now. The Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords and the Lovers. Because of what you've been through here, it's almost like Aries, you're connecting the dots. Because what's ha what happened is that whatever you've been through here, I feel like you've always struggled in your relationships, especially in romance. Okay, now it doesn't have to be romance. It also could be, you know, friendships and stuff like that, uh, you know, with family. But I feel like it has been a constant struggle. And I do feel like whatever is hitting so deep at this point, I do feel like, you know, there is a, a opportunity to overcome this. Because like I said, <clears throat> this is coming into your awareness. And I feel like right now at this time, whatever you're learning about yourself, whatever you're learning about, you know, maybe people 
that were um, people that led to this, you know, people that created this, you're learning it from them to see why this happened. So you have a better, better understanding so that you can break, you know, some sort of karmic pattern here. What else do we have? So Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy. What else do we have here for Aries? What else does Aries need to know, look out for, work on for the second half of their October from the 16th to the 31st for Aries? The Hermit and the Knight of Pentacles. Her Hermit, Virgo, Energy, Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Chariot, Cancer, Energy, and the Six of Pentacles. Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands. This is going to be really hard. This is hitting a really deep place. Some of you guys might face it and some of you guys might run away from it. Yeah. Some of you guys might face it and some of you guys might run away from it. It's not an easy thing to face. Your own pain, your own grief, and your own hurt. But what's important is that it's important to face it. It's important to embrace it. Because that is where the medicine is. That is where the growth is. That is where the lessons are. That is where the healing is. Um, but, but, you know, it, it, sometimes it takes, you know, a couple of tries. To, 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 you know, so sometimes, you know, some people might run away from it, but then they go back to it, then run, they run away from it, and then they go back to it. And then over time, it will be like a consistent discipline thing. Or that someone could just completely just run from it. Yeah, the hermit. The sun, knight of pentacles, and justice. This is really hitting a deep place. Like, and I feel like a lot of this, a lot of like maybe patterns or karmic patterns or past life traumas, uh, past life karma, um, a lot of that might be coming up to the surface. You might be getting visions of it. You might have, be having dreams of it. Because whatever you've gone through in this lifetime, it has happened in other lifetimes too. Abandonment, uh, maybe child of war or something like that. You know, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 you know, um, uh, uh, being homeless. You know, children, a child being homeless or something like that. But whatever this is, uh, this is definitely hitting like a really deep, dark place here. I do feel like, like I said, with the star card here, there's definitely an opportunity for healing. That's if you choose that for yourself here, Aries. Because there's a sense of, for some of you guys, there's a sense of avoiding this. And I do feel and see that some of you guys will do this, okay? Um, yeah, I do feel like there's a, there's an energy of like, for some of you guys, like, I'm just going to run from it. Hopefully it goes away, um, which doesn't work that way. It will always find a way of catching up to you. And then I see others of you, yes, I'm going to work on this. I'm going to close out this karmic cycle here. And, you know, and not pass this down to future generations and also help my ancestors out at the same time here. Okay. So, yeah, this is coming up because, like I said, something triggered this. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's some uh, stuff that's going on in the news right now. Okay. But, yeah, I do see, like, you guys are, might be seeing the opportunity to do something about this. Um, uh, to do work surrounding this, all right? So Aries, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.